For over a decade, Liberty Foundation, through its children's home in Ladyville, has been providing for abandoned and abused children, as well as children afflicted with HIV. It's described as a sanctuary for children in need, exposing them to a natural environment, love, nurturing, and a high standard of education. There are currently 32 resident youths at the home. We have our board of directors that I report to. They do fundraisers for us. Um, we, have, we do get a subvention from the government of Belize. Uh, we have local partners like the Radisson, Fort George and Marina that does a match program for us. Uh, we have the International Women's Club that does um, give us a monthly donation as well. Um, besides that, we do have a volunteer program where, we, uh, where volunteers pay to come to us, so that's another way that we generate some revenue. We have a daycare and a preschool at the facility. It's a not-profit, but it is our way of providing service to the Ladyville community. Today, Belize and American Tamara Williams and two of her four children visited the children's home bearing gifts. A container filled with an array of footwear, from sandals to tennis boots and shoes. The Williams are from Lancaster, California, United States, and have created a non-profit, K4 Kids Helping Kids, which was inspired by her eldest daughter, Kaden, who has spina bifida. So today we, um, we're here to give out the shoes that we brought and, um, and also assess the needs of the children here to see what else we can offer them when we go back and who we can go to to get donations as well. K4 came about from my daughters, Kaden and Cambria. Um, Kaden has spina bifida and she wears a brace and because of that brace we have to look at what kind of tennis shoes she can wear. She can only wear tennis shoes and sometimes we can get away with boots. But um, she looks into the, um, the community where we live. She will assess people's shoes because that's what, you know, she's like, mom, can you come get this? Can we get this one? Because it will work. And um, she saw a need from children with those kinds of shoes. And so she, um, that they needed shoes. So she came home, talked with her sister, and they came to me and my husband and told us and asked us about it. And we said, okay, let's see what we can do. Why Belize and why Liberty Children? Well, um, I'm from Belize, their dad's from Belize, so, and they know everything about our culture and what we, you know, where we're from, and, um, like, we taught Creole to them, all that stuff, so they have, they eat the food, everything, so we always want to bring them back, and so we decided this year to come back. Through partnership with the Belize Family Life Association, K4 was linked to the children's home. Liberty's director, Agatha Valentine, says that the shoe drive is much appreciated and accepts the concept of it being an annual event. When we receive this type of donations, Duane, um, it's really useful. Um, it takes away from us um, as an institution and management having have to find footwear for the kids and all the rest of it. Um, because of course, as with most NGOs, funding is an issue. With such partnerships, we can, of course, look at providing holistic care for them um, because we are responsible for, for every need that um, every child has, um, every resident has at the institution. So this type of partnership does help us to meet our daily needs of our resident population. The hope is that um, we can do it every year um, we're based solely on donations. We don't collect any money or anything. It's just whatever company we're with. Right now we're at Sprocks. They sell through Amazon. And with those, with that company, once they, um, once they give it to us, that's what we have. And so what, as long as that continues, we're going to continue doing it. Our goal this year was 200, and we, we got 200 shoes. Uh -huh. And so we brought some of that here, and we're, we have uh, the migrant... Um, community um, group that's up there in Lancaster, California that we're giving some to and then we have also Antelope Valley P um, Partners in Health which works with our children and low-income families in this community that we're going to partner with as well when we go back. Dwayne Moody for News 5.